All right, everyone. Uh, weekend na naman, no? So, time for another episode ng Grum Periodicals, our weekly news highlights. Uh, sa mga hindi pa po nakakaalam, what we do here is we look at mga news items na, for me, personally, I found interesting that occurred within the week. Okay? They may or may not have had a great effect sa market. Okay? Hindi yun yung pinakahabol ko. Naintriga lang talaga ako on a personal level. Okay? Kung nataon na may epekto siya sa market, eh di good. Kung wala, it doesn't lessen the fact na naintriga ko. Okay? Also, chance ko na rin to na makipagkwentuhan sa inyo. So, kapag merong mga nangyari sa inyo, meron kayong mga personal na news items that you found interesting or mga galaw sa market that you found interesting, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Gusto ko naman yung nakakakwentuhan ko rin kayo every now and then. No? Catch up na rin. And lastly, this is a way for us to reflect on what's been going on. Kasi ba diba sabi nila, there's nothing new under the sun and history tends to repeat itself. So this is a way to always keep us fresh para kung may nangyaring something similar in the future, okay, we can look back and say, oh, dati nangyari ito, parang ang naging resulta is X or Y, so we can likely expect na something similar might happen as well. Okay? Now, before we start, as always, credit where credit is due. Nakukuha po natin yung mga news items natin from Inquirer, uh, Billionario, Mercado Barcada, Twitter, and so on, no? And I've posted the links for those in the description box below. Okay? Para pag gusto nyo mag uh, tignan kung saan nang gagaling, gusto nyo uh, hanapin yung reference, you can do so easily. Alright? Now, news item number one. Siyempre, yung hot na hot na nangyayari since last weekend ng PSC Expo, no? Uh, dito, CME, cancel slash defers SRO. So, we're using cancel slash defers para lang maiwasan ang backlash from the overall community because Siyempre, lahat may kanya-kanyang paniniwala, lahat may kanya-kanyang stand, and we don't want to take sides over something na pwede pang mag-develop okay, sa future. In the sense na if talagang ituloy nila yung SRO nila moving forward, then it can arguably be called a deferment. Kaya pag hindi, then one can technically call it a cancellation. But either way, okay, either way, nasibak na yung SRO na dapat uh, lalabas or dapat maukuha ng mga investors yung binayaran nilang stocks. Now, as mentioned, this was unprecedented no sa PSE. Okay? Whether or not ano ang maging epekto nito moving forward for yung dito na stock, hindi natin masasabi. Masyadong maraming pwede mangyari down the line. no? Whether or not magkaroon siya ng positive or negative side effects, again, we don't know. We can assume, we can speculate, pero in the long run, we simply do not know. Alright? For now, what we do know is na halt to nun Monday, and then nag ng trading nun Wednesday. And so far, okay, uh, more or less we are trading essentially where we were prior to the cancellation slash deferment of the SRO. Okay? Based purely sa technicals, hindi pa po natin masasabi ano yung pwedeng mangyari next. If bumaksak, then we can look at certain levels, mag-abang, and so on. If that's what you want to do, kung mag-break tayo to the upside, same banana. Alright? But for now, okay, I do hope na, again, number one, di na itong maulit. And number two, if there's still a way na ma-resolve to ng mas maganda para sa mga investors, sa mga subscribers, and so on, I hope na mahanapan nila at magawa nila ng paraan. Okay? Next, uh, news item number two. Pagcor issues first bingo license to gaming firm. Yeah, so, sa leisure, uh, leisure and Resort World, choo 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 choo, LRWC, LRCW. <laughs> Saan ko na nandiyan? LR, no? So, basta, alam mo, akala ko talaga, ever since, na ang bingo license, di ba, marami na mga bingo, lalo na yung mga electronic choo choo na nakikita natin sa mga tabi-tabi, di ba? Uh, na kumalat. Akala ko, <laughs> yun na yung parang bingo license, pero hindi pala, no? So ngayon, uh, official issue na ng first bingo license sa Leisure and Resorts World. So, how this turns out for them remains to be seen personally, okay? This is just me, ha? Hindi ko masabi pa paano nalalaro talaga to, kasi di pa ako tumatapak sa ganun, eh. Diba? I can make assumptions, I can tell you what other people tell me, 
Pero ayoko naman ng ganun. Personally, di pa ako nakatapak sa loob. So, I'm not gonna say na, ah, okay, dahil ganito, pabor sa house or whatever. I don't know. Okay? Iba. Iba yung feeling na nandun ka eh. So, kapag kayo, guys, this is something you do or this is something you've tried, okay, please let me know in the comment section. Kapos na naman yung experience nyo. Is it something that you would look forward to? Is it something na talagang linalaro ng mga tao? And so on. Let me know, no? Uh, news item number three. Uh, City Core or Crit offer period in full swing no? from February 2 hanggang February 8. So if you haven't seen it, I posted the video for this as well. Yung thoughts ko on Crit. Uh, if you want to know more, I've put the link in the subscription ay, subscription description box below as well. Ano ba yan? Okay. So uh, let me know kung nag-subscribe ba kayo. Nabigyan ba kayo ng full allocation? What are you hearing? What are you expecting? Okay, as I mentioned dun sa video, this is something that I'm planning for. Okay, so let's see kung ano yung mangyayari moving forward. Mabibigyan pa tayo ng fill, di ba tayo mabibigyan ng fill? Tapos, uh, may narinig ako na sa PSE EC, hanggang 1 million, I mean almost 1 million yung i-allow nila na maximum per person. Pesos ha, hindi shares. Uh, 1 million pesos, no? So, uh, this is higher than everything else that has come before it for PSE EC. Usually, nasa around mga 100k, ko di nagkakamali, yung maximum natin for PSE EC, or maybe 200k, something like that. Ngayon lang na umabot ng 1 million, no? So, let's see kung uh, kamusta yung magiging epekto sa subscription rate nito. Magiging oversubscribe ba siya because of what they did. Okay? News item number four. Cebu Pacific says more domestic destinations ease travel requirements. So, uh, hindi naman to naagulat, no? Parang essentially, uh, tanggap na, kumbaga na, we are living with COVID and there's really not much we can do about it other than to be cautious uh, in our own ways, no? To make sure na we enforce yung mga minimum public safety requirements na hinihingi sa atin ng gobyerno. Whether that's wearing a mask or kung feel nyo na mag face shield or whatever, all of that. So it's good for the economy, obviously. Kapag mag open up na yung karamihan ng domestic destinations, kasi syempre, ganun naman talaga eh. Gusto natin na may tourism, lalo na sa loob na sarili nating bansa, para mas umiikot yung pera, di ba? Kasi lalo na sa mga lugar na medyo mahal, hindi naman nila maasahan na yung buong ekonomiya nila kayang ipower ng locals alone. Siyempre, minsan gusto mo rin yung mga from out of town or from out of the country and so on. Yun naman talaga ang habol eh. So, hearing this, eh, hindi, hindi agad pumasok sa isip ko na whether or not this is good for Seb. Obviously, it is, no? Ang pumasok lang sa isip ko is it's good for everyone as long as, yun nga, we make sure na maintain natin yung minimum public safety requirements para kahit pa paano, kahit na wala kayong pakialam sa iba eh, which sana naman meron, no? Pero kahit na wala, at least protect yourselves, protect your family, protect your loved ones. Okay? But of course, syempre, the best pa rin, let's protect everyone. Kaya naman natin ginagawa yung minimum public safety requirements. It's not just for us. It's for everyone. Alright? And then finally, news item number five. Congress ratifies amendments to PSA. So what this essentially means, is a shortcut ko na, is nagkaroon tayo ng redefinement ng public utilities. So, uh, stuff like airports, telcos, uh, tollways, expressways, etc. No? Kino, uh, parang, dahil hindi na sila quote-unquote public utility, pwede nang magkaroon ng 100% foreign ownership. Okay, so, obviously, a lot of people are speculating, ah, baka kaya yung dito, kinansin nila SRO nila kasi, uh, or sorry, kinansin or defer nila yung SRO nila Kasi baka balak nila ibenta na lang completely sa ibang bansa or whatever. What, it doesn't matter. That's just pure speculation for now. no? What matters is yun nga. Pwede ng 100% ownership nitong mga bagay na to outside of yung mga previous na ibang stuff na pwedeng maging uh, 100% foreign ownership na from yung previous na uh, news report natin. Di ba? Um, personally, sa akin hindi naman masama na merong 100% foreign ownership na ibang bagay. But, I am not smart enough, okay? I'll freely admit that, to look to look forward and say na, okay, dapat hanggang dito lang. Dapat hanggang dyan lang. Uh, kunyari, 
uh, for example lang to ah, kunyari ang tollway hindi pwede ng 100% foreign ownership parang ganon hindi ko na ikita I'm not smart enough so if you guys have your opinions you have you have your thoughts about it please feel free to let me know in the comment section below I'd love to hear about it no um, but obviously kahit pa paano makakatulong talaga to sa ekonomiya natin kahit pa paano whether or not that's a good thing or a bad thing in the long run again I'm personally not smart enough to say okay now news yung quote natin for the week the brains of humans contain a mechanism that is designed to give priority to bad news okay this is from uh, Daniel Kahneman no this is true madalas kaya yung mga news outlets mga media outlets mga ganon the reason why pinaprioritize yung bad news kasi yun yung gusto ng mga tao eh yun yung pwede natin pag chismisan yun yung pwede natin pag-usapan around the water cooler sa office or what have you but again at the end of the day hindi po yun yung lahat ng balita na nangyayari sa mundo yun lang yung nabibigay sa atin kasi yun yung naababenta yun yung yun yung mas pinapansin yun yung mas napag-uusapan okay now that we know this na may tendency tayo na i-prioritize yung bad news then maybe we can look into ourselves and make a conscious effort to not prioritize yung bad news. To prioritize the good stuff that happened. To be more appreciative kung ano yung mga nangyayari sa surrounding natin. Kung ano yung mga nangyayari sa atin na maganda. Hindi lang yung puro pangit. Alright? So guys, dito po nagtatapos yung video natin. Uh, I hope na kahit papano eh, may napulot kayo dito. Yeah, kahit chismis lang, no? <laughs> or kahit na natuwa lang kayo sa quotes natin. Okay? And as always, guys, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really, really appreciate it. Good luck and happy trading!